Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. So we're continuing our build on our Duramax. So today I want to work on the parts truck, getting them ready for, you know, paint basically. So what we need to do is get them sandblasted, but before we can get them sandblasted, I still need to strip the rear end some more, basically get the doors all ready, detrim them, take all that other burnt plastic stuff off, and yeah, we called her out. We got some company coming out here. She's a mobile sandblaster, so basically I'll get her all ready for him, get everything prepped up, and he'll come out here and knock it out, and then we're ready for the next step. Also the roof, Michael. We're yeah. replacing the roof. Oh, yeah, so. might as well. So we're basically going to drill that out since it's really warped and everything from the heat damage. It's not going to be looking good. So we got to get that drilled out, get that replaced, or just even open it up for now. It'll be a lot easier sandblasting everything. So, yeah, we'll get that removed, get the other parts ready for, prep for sandblasting. Pretty much a lot of prep work. A lot of prep work, yeah, but that's part of it. You know, if you do the prep work right, the final result is awesome, so that's part of the game. So we get some prep work going, but yeah, but just not waste any time and get it done. All right, everybody, so the sandblaster guy actually just stopped by, had a good talk with them about the cap, explaining what we need to be done and stuff, and he came with some good information. Basically, he has a wet sandblaster, a glass bead blaster, and then some other stuff, but he knows what he's doing. We're gonna try not to warp any panels kind of thing, so we're gonna go more extreme on the frame, but on the body panels themselves, we're gonna do that wet sandblaster kind of stuff so we have no warpage, because it's probably thin metal already. But yeah, we got a good game plan going on. It's in a couple days will come out, so I'll get enough time to get this thing all prepped up for it. So looking good, happy about it. Let's get it done. We didn't know if we had to take the frame to him or he's gonna come to us, but now we know he's coming here. So I could go ahead and take off my rear differential, take off those leaf springs. We don't need them anyway, since we have our other truck. So we'll get it stripped down basically, take off any bowls so he can get to it, you know, make sure nothing's in the way. But yeah, that's the game plan right now. Let's go ahead and unbolt these leaf springs. Well, first we're gonna jack up the frame. Then on both of these springs, get this thing all chair down. Try to get this bumper off. Man, that thing is like welded in there. But hey, there's a will, there's a way. Can't give up. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna get that out, prepped up. Probably unbolt some other stuff right here. Just go ahead and we don't need that stuff anyway. Less stuff to sandblast, less stuff to worry about. And then that way we get underneath those parts as well. Yeah, there's a plan all the way probably to here. <laughs> Where you can clearly see a color change. Awesome, let's get it done. All right guys, so I tried beating the bumper, that really wasn't working, so I'm trying to use the jack to spread it apart. It's just not coming off, it feels like, I don't know, hopefully it'll just pop off soon. The other one was kind of stuck in there, but man, it was burnt in there. Very strange, but won't give up, we'll get it done. All right guys, so I was about to hook it up, looking carefully at it. There's actually another bolt. If you can see it right there. It's very deep, all the way back there. Yeah, so that's why it's not moving, not budging, because it's still bolted. Oh, let's get it bolted and get it off. <laughs> all right.
all right guys and just like that it slid right out just like it was supposed to sometimes you feel like you get all the bolts but then there's one all the way in the back <laughs> but that's how so now I can keep moving forward so now i want to take off my rear differential i didn't really want to work on that until i got the bumper off because i know how much i'm going to be beating on this thing but yeah fun fun moving on let's get the next part off All right, guys, there we go. Got the bolts taken out, all four sides. Now the game plan is to jack it up and just roll this back. It sounds so easy. What could go wrong? Okay, a lot of things could go wrong, so I'm gonna be definitely be careful, <laughs> but it shouldn't be too bad, honestly. Everything's just kind of sitting on it. Like I said, jack it up. Probably gonna jack it up over here to be out of the way. Get that rear end lifted and just roll it out. Let's do it. Nice. That was not sketchy at all. Awesome. Nothing fell down. I'm super happy. Still got all my 10 fingers, 10 toes. And rear differential is off and ready for sandblasting. Just pretty good. On our welded rims that we have. Homemade. Oh yeah, looking good. Probably get a couple more bolts off, but on that, it's getting there. All right, guys, we're back inside the office. I really want to quickly go over the prices of some of the parts I'm talking about right now because some of you guys are reading your car and you're like, oh, it's not worth it, just go buy a new one kind of thing. But let's just look at car parts. Basically, car parts is all the junkyards put together for some of these prices on some of these vehicles that are going. It's honestly insane and then kind of help you understand why we got the parts strike and why we're doing what we're doing. So let's check it out. All right, so we have this 2021 Chevy Duramax and this thing is a burnt 6.6 gasoline engines kind of what we have but check it out they want two thousand dollars for this that's just the frame and then i mean imagine that this thing definitely looks a lot worse but they're selling it i'm reading all those comments hey it's compromised it's not gonna be safe but hey they're, they're selling them you know and this thing looks burnt worse than ours check that out that is insane wow and that's just one of them that's two thousand dollars a lot of these are just rear sectionals so don't be like, oh, it's only 700 bucks, you're good to go. No, no, that's just the back end of it. A lot of these other ones are $2,000, $3,000, honestly, a lot of money. So these frames alone are between two to three grand, and that's used. So this one's three grand, flooded, so that's pretty good. But man, guys, these things are definitely adding up. So let's say three grand there, let's find that cab. Cab, let's see how much a cab cost. So let's see the price for a 2021 cab. So. There's only a couple of them, about 
400 miles away from me, so that's very far, and they're also about three and a half grand. So it's very expensive, and this one's wrecked. So there's probably some damage on it already, but dang, so you got basically $2,000 for the frame, three and a half grand for the cab itself, and that's still gonna come in with some work on it. Yeah, we have to pay a little bit of money to get sandblasted, but hey, I still think it's worth it. And let's check out our engine and transmission. All right, so here we go. This is not what we need. We don't need five three. We actually have a six six gas. Look at that. Nine and a half grand. Dang. So this is basically what we have. This alone is basically the price of our entire burnt parts truck that we bought. So I really think it justifies it. Yeah, ours is a little warmer. You know, got a little heated, but we actually cleaned it up and it cleaned up really nicely. I'll show you a little after that. So we could definitely make some money back on that. It's an engine transmission, a powertrain basically. These diesel engines are crazy though. Check that out guys, 15 grand for this diesel 6.6 that we have. So our, we paid, what, 10 grand for the other one that's hit and this engine alone is worth 15. So I feel like we already made money there. It's still a good deal. Nice. So let's check out the front door and the side doors. They probably should be pretty much the same price. <clears throat> But yeah, so $1,000 per door, and that's used, you know, nothing new here, guys. Dealership prices you can't even, are definitely a lot more, so that one's hit, and they still want $1,000 for $900. So imagine that, I mean, these are basically 800 bucks, 900 bucks, a door, and we got four of them, so that's going to add up. So what are we up to right now? So $2,000 for the frame, plus three and a half for the cab, plus $9,000 for the powertrain, plus three and a half for the doors. So we're close to $18,000 already for the parts that we are saving. I think we're in the green. All right, all right. Making our way to the inside. Outside looks pretty good. So I was talking to the sandblaster guy. He said, don't even worry about trying to scrape other little pieces off because that's all gonna sandblast off pretty easily. So I'm just gonna get some of the major stuff off. Either way, I gotta take it off, so not a big deal. That way I can get behind it. But overall, sandblaster should do its job. I'll go ahead and sandblast all the doors. I might not even use them all, because I still have my other good doors. So that side and the other side, but why not? Might as well, and see how they turn out. If they're pretty decent, then we have some extra doors. But if they don't work out, then we don't need them. We still have other ones. Like I said, get all this off, take it apart, get it in. All right, so this door is definitely looking better. Getting rid of all that burnt plastic pieces inside. Like we said, these doors are about $1,000 each, so I still think it's worth to put some time into it to restore it and see how it turns out sandblasting. I'm pretty sure all this grime stuff will come off. A little bit of work ahead of us, for sure, and especially for the sandblasting guy. <laughs> He's gonna have to do some work too, but yeah, I still think it's salvageable. Let's see how it turns out at the end. Okay, moving right along to our next burnt door. This one definitely looks bad too. Still got the mirror on there. Definitely bad. But check out this other side, man. Looks like I got half a door panel, half melted. 
a bunch of junk in the bottom. This one definitely looks bad. But hopefully let's see the before and after, because I think once I get rid of all this stuff and it'll look just like the other door. Not as bad. Just a little dusty. <laughs> let's go ahead and strip it down. So it's hard to tell, but this is actually a mirror. It used to be a mirror. Wow. Seen better days. So like I said, this door is looking much better. Obviously I still gotta get rid of the wire harness. Simple stuff, you guys seen me do it before, nothing crazy. But yeah, I think this door is definitely salvageable. We'll have to see how it turns out after sandblasting, primering, and paint, but I still have hope for it. Oh yeah. All right guys, so just like that, we're moving forward, getting prepped for the sandblasting. I'm still suited up, getting all dirty. You know, that's part of the game though. If you want to get something nice, sometimes you just gotta get in there and just get dirty and clean it up. So that's part of the process, but not a big deal. Hopefully we'll be done with all the burnt dirty stuff soon then we can work on our other one. But we're still, like I said, prepping our parts for our Duramax. Cause we need all these doors, we need the cab, we need the frame, all these things. So yeah, but unfortunately that's all the time we have today guys. Make sure you stay tuned. We are getting the sandblasting guy over here soon. We do have more projects coming up. We still have that porch we wanna finish up. So make sure you stay tuned. We'll get that thing knocked out real quick. And we actually have a really big new project coming up soon, so I'm excited about that one. But thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. We're going to post every day. We're going to try to for a little bit. We're going to do our best. We're going to keep grinding and get this thing knocked out. Catch you next time.